Welcome to the Gummy Bear Show. Oh, pickles! Oh, yes, yes, my underlings. More pickles! I shall rule the world with pickles. Here, here. Ah! Gummy! Oh, why'd you wake me from a wonderful dream about, well, that's not important, with that awful noise! No! Ah! Okay, let's have a look here. Wide. Wider. Widest. Hey, you! Don't you ever brush? There's a piece of last week's meatloaf surprise still stuck on your bicuspid. Well, there's only one scientific conclusion. Something's not right. We need to ask Carla. Undulating octopus. Come quite roll attack. What in the wide, wide world of ninjutsu was that? Gummy, something's not right with his voice. Somehow, some way, Gummy's talker must have been jiggered. And we have to unjigger it. and he was speaking right way round. So, somewhere in the last 12 hours, Gummy must have reversed his vocal cords. <gasps> so what can we do? How do we reverse the reversed voice talky cordy thingy? Well, Gummy must retrace his steps and do everything backwards until he comes to the point where his vocal cords got turned around. Right, we're on it. It's backwards Gummy time. Oh, 
Quick, follow him! Into the little gummy's room? But that's... private! got reversed with his backwards mirror image. Then we have to swap our gummy with the reverse gummy, who's actually our gummy, even if this one is our gummy. I'm so confused. <laughs> Follow that backwards gummy! Hey, wait! Looks dangerous. I'm not taking part in that. You? Uh, <laughs> yeah, one. It's just going to be me and Santa. Santa should be here in six hours, according to Norad. Better set my clock. <laughs> Only six hours until Santa. Like this baking sheet, I will butter up Santa with the most delicious cookies he has ever had in his life. That fuzzy old man will have no choice but to bring me the most presents ever. Something on the roof? Is that right? Hmm. I need time for the cookies to bake, so let's leave it at three. Santa can't arrive until this clock says so. Uh, who could that be? Since I know Santa's not coming for three whole hours, there's only one conclusion I can come to. It's a burglar! He must be after my Christmas cookies! Oh, 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 oh. oh no, you aren't trying to squeeze down my chimney, are you? Huh. Chimneys are for Santa, you cookie burglar! Ho, ho, ho! That's no match for my fire retardant special boots! <laughs> special boots, eh? Oh, I got you! Ah. Ah. <laughs> oh. Tickle, 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 tickle! tickle. Stop it! Tickle, tickle, tickle! <laughs> Don't worry. The tickling part is over now. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> That's the end of that problem. Rise, my cookies. Rise! Huh? The cookie burglar again? Right. Bring it on. I am ready to defend my cookies. Come holly or high mistletoe! This box of Christmas goodies should take care of you. 
On the first day of Christmas, I gave my burglar free a massive fruitcake. Oh! On the second day of Christmas, oh, I gave no. my burglar free this glass Christmas ornament. And boy, is it heavy. Oh! Hey, you want to know what I gave my burglar free on the third day of Christmas? No, not at all. I gave my burglar free all the presents I never wanted. Uh oh. How about some rancid eggnog? Ugh. Merry Christmas to one and all. Even to my friend, the burglar, who appears to be agnostic. Eggnog, you later. Is he saying ho, ho, ho? Why would that make him laugh? This guy just won't quit. I must defend my cookies for Santa. my toes. Now who could that be? Maybe it's Santa. Ah, uh, impossible. Santa's not coming for another three hours. Hmm, it must be sooner by now. Ah! Well, deck my halls. Giant Christmas cows? Ah, uh, a gummy's gotta do what a gummy's gotta do. yippee ki And stuff my stockings. All this cookie defending sure has made me hungry. I suppose one cookie won't hurt. Ho, ho, ho! Those cookies sure smell good. <laughs> you betcha. But they're not for you. They're my special cookies for a special man that only comes once a year down the chimney and ho, ho, ho's and, and reindeer. <laughs> Isn't Samuel by any chance, is it? Samuel Claus? No. Uh oh. Hi, Santa. Mm. Oh, so now you recognize me. Guess I'm not on the nice list anymore, huh? Nice list? Nice list? I'm late now for my deliveries. It is Christmas Eve, and this is the night I have to spread joy throughout the land. Well, Santa, I have to say, if it makes you feel any better, you brought me a lot of joy. I mean, a lot of joy. Oh, did I? Oh, yes. I had a lot of fun maiming and mayheming you, actually. Mm. Come on, Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, and Rudolph. We don't have time for this, all adult. Look, is there anything I can do to help? You know, so we can call it even? <laughs> call it even? You burned my feet, smashed my head with Christmas decorations, covered me in rancid eggnog, threw me from a tall building, and then topped me with cupcake frosting and sprinkles! Like I said, a lot of joy was had. Hmm. Well, there is one teeny tiny thing that you might be able to do. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing great, Gummy! Wow! Merry Christmas! Wow! Wow! What a shot! <laughs> Here's a gift from Santa! Go for it, Gummy! Merry Christmas to all! And to all a good night! Whoa! <laughs>
Today's nature program, Frog Nation. No! Don't end! Show me more frogs! They're so cute! So green! <gasps> just like me! Wait, what did I just say? So green! Just like me! Just like me! Just like me! Just like me! Maybe I'm a frog. It could explain a lot. Hmm. Huh? Whoa. Ah. Yes, I'm definitely green. I'm a frog! Uh, hi, Gummy. Everything okay? Sure is. I'm a frog, guys. Isn't that great? What exactly makes you think you're a frog? Because I'm green, silly. Lots of green things aren't frogs, Gummy. Harry's right. And you don't look or act like a frog. The TV said there were over 4,000 species of frogs. How do you know I'm not one of them? Well, frogs have long, slimy tongues, and they hop around a lot. You mean like this? Well, sort of. They also live in ponds, not apartments. Well, I can live in ponds, too. In fact, that's just where I'll go. Forever and ever. See you in Frogland. <laughs> this is not going to end well, is it? Yeah. Maybe I should have mentioned frogs eat flies? Ugh. There they are, just waiting for me to join them. Hello, frog brothers and sisters. I'm Gummy. I've been a frog my whole life, but only just realized it today. Nice damn froggy place you got here. So quiet and peaceful. My, what lovely pond scum you have. A lily pad. I've always wanted to sit on a lily pad. And my new life as a frog begins. Getting kind of hungry here. Hey, my amphibian kin. What time's chow? <laughs> <sighs> I guess that means now. Oh boy, my first fly. Here goes. <sighs> Back home, I ate all kinds of good things. Hatch-up smothered burgers, brain-freezing shakes, pistachio ice cream with french fries on top. You guys would love pistachio ice cream with french fries on top. <gasps> that gives me an idea. Hang on, my froggy family. I'll be right back. Gummy, are you back? You've been gone all day. Everything is A-OK. -okay. I'm just packing some food for my new slimy buddies down at the pond. Um, are you sure the frogs will want to eat that stuff? Kala, who wouldn't want pistachio ice cream with french fries on top? But you have to keep it frozen, otherwise it gets messy and smelly. You're right, Harry. That's why you're a genius. All this great food will spoil by the time I get it back to the pond. Only one thing to do. Take the whole fridge. Is it really a good idea to live like a frog? Won't you miss the comforts of modern living? Wow. You're right, Kala. I better bring them with me, too. Skateboard, stereo, couldn't live without foosball, and my computer. Hope they have Wi-Fi at the pond. Well, I'm off. Wish me luck. Uh, that bag won't fit through. The door. Harry, we've got to do something. I'm back, and guess what? Ice cream for everyone! Oh, who knew a frog's life was so hard? Well, it took all night, but it's finally done. My new home is all ready. Guess I'll see what's on TV. Maybe I'll fix it later. <sighs> I'm too pooped right now. Get it? I did it. I'm moving to the lily pad. Grip it, I'll get it. 
Toads, not frogs. You know, you can't believe everything you see on TV. You can't? Of course you can. If it's on TV or the internet, it's always true. I think we have a problem. Wait a sec, Harry. I believe I have a solution. Oh, I don't know, Carla. Seems kind of cruel to play this trick on Gummy. We're trying to help him. Now hush and help me set up. Hello, morning. Hello, frogs. Whoa, my TV's come back to life. We have breaking news. This just in. Gummy is not a frog. <gasps> he doesn't live in a pond, go ribbit, or eat flies. I don't? But if I'm not a frog, what am I? Gummy can be anything he wants, and his friends will accept him. Well, I can be whomever I want. Oh, joy. Oh, bliss. Later, froggies. I'm going home to sleep in my own bed tonight. Well, that seems to have worked. Thank goodness. I knew Gummy would believe it if he heard it on TV. Not terribly encouraging. Well, it worked, didn't it? Now, let's pack Gummy stuff and take it home to him. Aha! Ha-ha! <laughs> there you are. Hurry up, guys. My favorite nature show is going to start. When dung beetles collide. Huh? I wonder if I'm a dung beetle. I smell pretty dungy. four episodes already? Wow. I only thought it was 102. Oh, come on. You can't possibly still be watching Extreme Makeover Gingerbread House Baking Edition. How many times do we have to tell you? Yes, we are! Pass the chocolate-covered ketchup-flavored cream puffs, please. Whoa. What was that? I saw something, but I'm pretty sure it was nothing. Less talk, more TV. Yeah. There it is again! Eh, so what? Oh, I think it's a... Uh, what? What is it? A m m m m A mailman? A motorcycle? A mosaic? A megaphone? A melting pot? It was a m m mouse m m mouse ah! <laughs> I don't see him. I'm too scared to look. Oh, rats. I can't believe we have a mouse. That's such hard cheese. What if it's plotting against us? What if it has some strange mousian disease like mouse pox or mouse flu or foot and mouse? Worse, what if it wants to tango? Why would it? No, no, no. There will be no tangling on my watch. Ugh. Wait a minute. There are three of us and only one of him. Plus, we're bigger. Come on, team. Let's get him. Here, mousey, mousey. Oh, I think I see something. Uh, wait, no, that was just our shadows. 
I've got something! I've got something! Do you mind? I'm eating here! She scares, yet excites me when she does that. Kala, it's on your head! I know that! Get it, get it, get it, get it! What do we do? Hold still! Wait, is this a good idea, Gummy? What are you? A wussy pussy? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Kala, wake up! Wake up! Wow, that was something else. Yeah, but at least she's okay. I'm sorry for whacking you, Kala. <laughs> Not sure what you just said, but anyway, Kala, don't be mad at Gummy. It was an accident. A direct, perfectly calculated, and brilliantly executed accident. Uh, is it just me? Or is she acting like she doesn't know us? Yeah, Kala, what's up? You're acting like a... Oh, oh cat! Oh, no! Do all cats do that? Maybe we should tie her up before things get too crazy. Like they are already? You know, even though she is a vicious wild animal who will probably try and scratch my eyes out, she does look kind of cute. Stay focused, Harry! Kala, get a hold of yourself! Oh, yelling at her. Maybe that'll work. Kala, we are all friends here! Did you hear that? Did you see what I saw? The sound of little footsteps, the shadow on the wall. There it goes, running across the floor. I think I saw a mouse heading for the door. Mousy, 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 in my little housey. We gotta catch that little pass. Mousy, 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 get rid of little mousy before it does us. Oh, wait. Your ninja stars were your favorite. No, please, call me, no. Don't you want her to get better? Who's afraid of a mouse? My cat is in the house. Have no fear, kitty cat is here to knock that critter out. Oh, maybe I can hug your memory back into you. Maybe she needs something. Maybe she needs something that money can't buy. Here, Kala. Commercial love. Maybe a mother's love? And how's my little poopsie whoopsie kitten baby? <sighs> Maybe a slideshow showing Kala how she used to be might help. Who can resist a good slideshow? This is my last idea, so it better work. Wow. Impressive, Gummy. Aw, look at all the fun we've had together. Kala, uh, you have to pay attention. You're just full of great ideas today, aren't you, Gummy? <laughs> Say goodbye to our little friend. Nice knowing you, little mouse. Except it wasn't. Wild? Wild? What do you mean? I'm a cultured kitty. I'm a refined feline. Even if I got hit on the head, I wouldn't go... Wild? I was wild! Oh, the good kitty is back. Oh, guys. Was I acting 
wild. Oh, I'm so humiliated. <laughs> oh, look, Kala. He just wanted to watch Extreme Makeover Gingerbread House Baking Edition with us. Well, I'll be gummed. Chocolate covered ketchup flavor cream puffs, please. some salty buccaneer has buried a king's ransom of pineapple pepperoni pizzas and hidden them from the eyes of the world. Yaha! X marks the spot. It's the pizza pirate's life for me! <laughs> I am the pizza pirate. I'm looking for my loot. Anyone gets in my way will get to fear my boo. It's a pirate, I have a treasure map It shows a birdie portrait with the X that marks the spot Hey yo, hey yo, and all the empty hole Keep digging, 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 digging for a pot of gold I am the pizza pirate, the left cannot be on My mate is keep my spirit up, we sing the pirate song Almost done alphabetizing my laundry. Now, if I'm color coding the socks based on the prismatic spectrum, is it red to violet or violet to red? Trick question! If I'm alphabetizing, it has to be red to violet. <laughs> ah, pirate chip gummy, what's going on? Avast, you lizardy lover! There be treasure about that I means to find. Hmm, eight paces forward, and five back, and a quick left at the couch. And Dex marks the spot. Um, I just waxed that floor. Shiver me, Timbers, no treasure. I must have read the map all wrong like. Tis all shredded, as if by a critter's claws. His Kala's apartment I'd be wanting. Uh, what just happened? Kala, you do not need to see the butt to kick the butt. Uh, hi there, lass! Hi, Gummy. Ooh. Give me a second. I'm almost done with my routine. Walk in the plank, be ya? Take your time, lass. Tis treasure I be hunting. And Dex marks the spot. <laughs> Bless the luck. There be no treasure here, neither. And she sticks the luck. I wonder where she's going. Arr! Tis a piratical petunia clue. The booty be buried in Granny's flowering patch. Tiny, set a course to the oldster's garden. What just happened? Who's your Granny, my pert little petunia? At the risk of stating the obvious, Granny's your Granny. Oh, that's odd. Oh, odder still. Gopher, and a big one, too. He's picked the wrong petunia patch to pillage. <laughs> My 
my plasma powered go forget a 2000 will make short work of this pestiferous geomaday. Uh, 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 got him! Ah! Slow me down and not on me crag locks! Right in the poop deck! Gummy! Why are you digging up my garden? This treasure map says Granny Isle is where the riches be hid. Oh, uh, Gummy! This isn't really a treasure map. It's just an old takeaway menu with an X next to a pineapple pepperoni pizza. Nice try, you tricky sea hag. But you'll not be swaying me from the treasure quest nor stealing the loot before me. This treasure is hid, and hid good. But Captain Gummy will never give up the search, even if I have to dig a thousand holes. We have to do something about this or Gummy's gonna Swiss cheese the whole town. I have a plan. Order for G, Granny. That would be Granny, who is me, dear. You must be really hungry. That's a lot of pizzas. Oh, they're not for us, dear. Okay. The customer is always right, even if they're a little crazy. <laughs> What could it possibly be? Whatever that X is, it certainly marks the spot. X marks the spot? The X, at last! Ha-ha! <laughs> mine, mine! That treasure be mine! Finally! Now he can ditch the shovel and give us some peace. <laughs> I thought you were all done with digging, Gummy. Not before I bury me booty in a secret spot all of me own. Because nobody ever hides anything under the bed. Arr, what be this? Whatever it be, it's taken up space from me treasure. What the what? Yes? You shortchanged me on those pizzas, and you still owe me... Um, oh, uh... Tell you what, I'll give you a large pizza for that box of shiny trash. Heck, I'll make it extra large. More pizza? Bam, Cozy, you've got a deal. Sucker! <laughs> Can you believe it? Free pizza for an old box filled with junk. <laughs> you gonna bury that one too, Gummy? You bet I am. X marks the spot. <laughs> yourselves in because it's time for another bone-breaking, spleen-splintering, high-impact episode of the world's most bewildering unicycle accidents. Bam, Boozy! I love this show so much it hurts! Let's make sure we've got everything we need for a perfect evening of mayhem viewing. Okay, custom fit inflatable fluffy pillows. Check! Individual fingerprint keyed remote controls. Check! High-calorie artery-clogging snack foods. Um... Oops, no check. What? I guess I got so excited about the show that I forgot to go to the store. <gasps> no snacks? What are we gonna do? We're gonna starve to death. Is it too early to suggest cannibalism? <laughs> I'll just heat up the leftovers from our last TV night. Hmm, I'm not quite sure that deep fried tandoori salami fish paste goes good with chunky style peanut butter and cream corn, but Waste not, one not. Okay, crank the radiation to 11 and set the timer on way too long. Hurry up, Gummy. You're missing the best accident. Wanga, I'm on my way. Did 
Did you hear something? It was just the TV. <laughs> Did you see the way that guy stuck the landing? Get it? Stuck? Because he landed butt first on the goat's horn? <sighs> Nobody gets me. One from column A and one from column B. I'm going to gobble you down. <laughs> Don't eat me! And yes, I appreciate the irony of this moment. interrupting our TV night. Why are we carrying plungers and torches when there are three chainsaws right here? Plungers are funnier, Harry. Now, let's go catch us a monster. scared of us than we are of it. Not more scared than me. <laughs> you know, I somehow feel responsible for this poor thing's creation, since I was the one who created it. I say we adopt it and give it a chance for a normal life. Okay, define normal. There's a monster in the microwave. It is looking for food, nothing is safe. Anything that's eatable, last weeks ago, it gobbles and right up. It's a munchy monster that does wait for food. It's looking kinda scary and don't smell so good. It will eat all the leftovers that it can find. It's never gonna stop. Oh my god! Gabba 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 so quickly. Come on, you big smelly goofball. Let's get you some breakfast. <laughs> if you keep this up, I'm never going to get my cleaning deposit back. That was delicious. Your turn. <laughs> Uh, Gummy, I hate to say this, but I think it's time for your little one to leave the nest. Yeah, before he demolishes it. But where can he go? The dump! 
Great idea, Harry. It's like a retirement home, an amusement park for leftovers rolled into one big stinky package. Uh, saying goodbye is the hardest part. Give me a hug, you big smelly thing. Even though he's gone, he'll always be with us. Yep, yeah. until we take a shower at least. and I won't be able to sit for a week. Wow! For me? Uh, that probably isn't a good sign. Glowing gummy is never a good sign. There's something peacefully soothing about hurling a 16-pound compressed ball of polyurethane at a cowering group of defenseless blocks of maple that really makes me feel good about the world. Guys, watch this! too small. We need a bigger lane. And I know exactly where we can find one. Mm. <laughs> to beautiful silence. <laughs> it burns! It burns! <laughs> it's burning! Oh, dearie, dearie, dearie! These quadraphonic sound waves are compromising years of my research. I do hope someone will stop this. <laughs> Could you please stop with the roly roly? These noise levels are unacceptable, Gummy, and you are going to pay for it. Why? Disgraceful. <laughs> no! More babies! <laughs> for Pete's sake, Gummy, we live here! Um, hi, neighbors? My spots! My nap! My face! Let's go! This is a good place to call an official's timeout. Maybe we should find another alley where we're more appreciated. Uh. There's never been a more perfect place for our new bowling league to be. It even has lines. And all we need are the pins. I know just the thing. Harry, pull those lights down from the trees. Kala, disinfect the shoes. We're ready to roll. Um, I don't think so. Dear. Aren't even up to standard. Don't interrupt my concentration. I'm on a roll. Must bowl more. Uh oh, this is how he gets with video games. He loses his hold on reality and thinks he's actually in the game. Does seem to be losing his grip. No, I have a firm grip. Ready, set, go. Ready and roll. Line up the pins. It's time to bowl.
keep the pins up falling Every ball I throw a strike You better hide, stay out of sight When you see the ball just run Just run! Don't get it away, nothing safe today When I'm bowling, having fun Paula, we have to stop it! No! to stop him before he gets to that point again. Anything? Rolling, rolling, rolling. I'm the king of bowling. Knock down everything in sight. Bowling, bowling, bowling. Keep the pins up falling. Every ball I throw a strike. <laughs> Soon the Earth will be my wrecking ball, and this entire universe will be my cosmic bowling alley. <laughs> oh no, a baby! What am I doing? Exactly! That's not a bowling pin, that's a baby carriage! <laughs> to stop you. Actually, I found it refreshing. I was terrified at first, but it's really very therapeutic going back to babydom. Really? Maybe I should try to be the baby. But I'm already being the baby. But I want to be the baby. But I was the baby first. Now you're really being a baby, which I like. Baby, 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 baby. Oh, oh tisk, tisk. I think you have some cleaning up to do, Gummy. Uh, uh, and some baking. Oh, what an ugly little baby. Oochie -coo, coo Let's watch some soccer. I have to brush up since I did just order a new football. Wow, for me? Did somebody say... Soccer? No! Option is to retreat the bishop. Or do that. Good move. Guys, come check this out. Jarvis P. Stormbuckle from Ohio just broke the world record by making the world's largest pizza. That's incredible! Someone actually named their child Jarvis? That's my middle name! No, 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 no! Don't you see? We should break a world record! Why? Well, the internet stars! Our name will go down in history, just like, what's his face? Jarvis Stormbuckle. Right, and that will be us when we do the world's longest tap dance. Uh, 19 hours. Nope, longest burp? Also 19 hours. One sec, longest time reading about what record to break? 20 hours. You guys keep looking. I'm gonna get some ice cream. Uh-oh. Kala, he's making that face again. His I've got it face or his I'm gonna be sick face. I've got it. We're gonna make the world.
Carl's Largest Ice Cream Sunday. Everyone loves Sundays. Extra plus, we can eat it afterwards. This is going to be a nice, relaxing day. A little to the left. Huh? To the right. No, back to the left again. Huh. I smell shenanigans. Perfect. We did it. Some we. Now, just what do you three think you're doing? Building the world's biggest ice cream sundae. It's going to be a world record. No, oh, no, you're not. I do not want to have to look at a giant sundae while reading my new book, A History of Spoons, by renowned spoon historian J.B. Spoonerson. You will remove this thing from my sight immediately, if not sooner. Hey, the field is for everybody. You can't make us. What? I... you... This isn't over! Never in my whole life have I heard or... Glad that's over. Now, how much ice cream do we need, Harry? Well, if our bowl has a radius of 27.84 feet, the volume is one-third pi r squared times the height, subtracting the coefficient of melting. So, a lot. Yes, that's what I got as well. Any ideas on where we're going to get all that ice cream? Ice cream, ice cream. Gee, it's tough to think with that ice cream truck music. <gasps> Hang on, that's it! Friendly Frank's ice cream? Can't you see we're closed? You're Friendly Frank? No, I'm Little Bo Peep. Now leave me alone. It's my day off. But you're driving the truck. And playing the song. So? How I choose to spend my day off is none of your business. Mr. Bo Peep, my friends and I want to build the world's largest ice cream sundae. And we need your help. Not interested, kid. But if we set the record, we'll be answered at stars. Picture it, Frank. Millions of fans chanting your name. Whoa. Frank, 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 Frank. Oh, that could be good for business. Fine. <laughs> Hello. Is this Big Lenny's Big Lenses Emporium? I'd like to place an order. Okay, so how do we haul all the ice cream in there? What am I, a moving man? It's your record. I have an idea. A big spoony idea. Hey, careful with that. I ain't got spoon insurance. Internet, Frank. Internet. Load her up. I think this ice cream is melting a little too quickly. Yeah, and I have a hypothesis. Don't worry, I called in reinforcements. Whipped cream jetpacks! Hmm. <laughs> they might still need a few tweaks to get them calibrated. Now, check this out. I did a little fiddling with the water main. there's a fire. <laughs> I've always loved cherry picking, but it became hard when my vision started to go, so I decided to grow one huge cherry to pick. By the time I realized it would be easier to get glasses, this baby was already bigger than a beach ball. Ice cream, you scream, we need more ice cream, fill up the swimming pool. <laughs> We're breaking the record, the world's biggest Sunday. Oh, baby, that is cool. Ice cream, ice cream, sprinkles and whipped cream. A big red cherry on top. Once it is finished, we get to eat it. Ice cream until we pop. You're a little dumb, they do. Yay! <laughs> hey, the record's a 
official is here. Well, it's certainly large enough. <laughs> but it is not truly a Sunday. Sorry. And thus is ineligible for the record without a cherry on top. Wait, how could we forget? One sec, we have one around here somewhere. No Sundays! No Sundays! <laughs> Hold up, Jerry Nepper! It's over! Why don't you just give up? I want my record! Now that's a Sunday! The record is yours! Yeah! 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 Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I'm never eating ice cream again! You said it! I am stuffed! Double wishbone suspension. <laughs> and that jet turbine. Yes, yes, yes. And don't forget the slide whistle horn. Sorry to ask this now, but how exactly are we going to beat Granny's all time dragster record time held by her for 50 years with the slide whistle horn? I tell you, but you can't handle the truth. Where do you want the glitter streamers? On the steering wheel. Duh. Yeah, it's getting late, guys. Yeah, Gummy, let's call it a night. Sleep is for the week. This time, we win at all costs. We will take the prize for bragging glory in the coveted gold-plated loudspeaker trophy. Okay. Well, we believe in you, Gummy. Yeah, buddy, don't stay up too late. You have to drive tomorrow. <laughs> You stayed up all night for this? Isn't I... you... it... beautiful? We're going to... We're going to... We... Um, Gummy? Are you sure you can drive like that? What are you talking about? I'm fine! Now let's go! Maybe I should drive. My name is on the sign-up sheet. Rules are rules. Besides, I'm righty tidy. Hurry up, slow pokes. Good morning, Granny. Ready to have your record time beaten today? Please. Gummy couldn't beat an egg, let alone my record-setting time. Why I could beat you with my eyes? Close. Get on with it. I prepared a special lunch for myself today, and I don't want it to spoil in the sun. To all participants trying to break my record, rule number one, do not touch my lunch! No, 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 no. Rule number two, the time to beat is 51 seconds. Rule number three, three faults start and you're disqualified. That's one fault start. I will be eating my sweet, sweet lunch in no time. We can only eat the chocolate mousse after the helicopter ride. That's my sandwich! Look, mister, never forget rule number one. Do not touch my lunch, lunch, lunch! Oh. <sighs> <sighs> 
If you don't get that boy under control, your whole group will be disqualified. We're so sorry. He's just a bit excited. What? <gasps> Second false start. I want to be a baseball bat when I grow up. Get out of the road, giant hamster. You're going to cause an accident. Get to the starting line. <laughs> Two false starts. One more and you've lost the race. You cannot start until I say, ready, set, go. Huh? Did someone say go? Out of my way. The race is on, dearies! We gotta catch up! The hamster! Chef has 
just stuck the landing. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, there it is. Wonderful. Ah, uh, what? Hey, Mr. Kronk, it's Gummy. Listen, do you want to go? Ah, uh, 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 <laughs> Such superb execution. I pity anyone who just missed that. <laughs> Next comes stage nine. The delicate sprinkling of paprika. <laughs> paprika! Perfect! Now, pay very careful attention. Gently tap out exactly 42 teensy particles. You shut the door. So anyway, I wrote a song for you, old buddy, old pal. Have a seat. But, but, this is the gummy twist. This is the gummy twist. Come on, Mr. Crunk, move with me. Groove with me. Absolutely did not. I've been reading a book about knights and chivalry and good deed doing. Okay, I only looked at the pictures. But back then, if someone saved your life, you could only repay them by saving their uh, life. Uh, uh, yes, 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 uh, whatever. Which means uh, I must now repay you for saving my life by saving your life. Sure, sure. Just get out of here. Uh, uh. Finally, some peace and quiet. Exactly. <sighs> How did you get in here? The window. I met this really friendly bird out there. Or maybe it was a gorilla. Gorilla? Uh, uh. Okay, before we argue about species, let me make sure your place is secure. And don't you worry, Gummy is here to save you. Oh my! An iron and ironing board. You could burn yourself. A can opener could not only open a can, but your cranium, head, marbles. Nope, choking hazard. Hammer, another choking hazard. Pins, needles, thumbtacks. <laughs> you could put an eye out. Milk, possibly the most dangerous of all liquids, especially when it shoots out your nose. And whatever this is, it looks completely dangerous. No, stop! That's my flambe! I'm in the middle of a cooking show! Now it is time to spoon on some raw honey. Raw? Why, you haven't even been properly introduced! Stranger danger! No! Uh, stop! Let go! Uh. 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 Danger averted! And now we are ready to add on the potato chip garnish. Chips. Right. Another choking hazard. This place is just full of them. Heimlich maneuver to the rescue. Stop that. My bad. <laughs> oh, no. 
life-threatening allergies. I must get all the dust out of the air. Enough! Stop! Please! <laughs> Let me out! Let me out! Let me out! <sighs> oh, I've wanted to do all year is to stand in my nice, pristine living space and make this flumbe. <sighs> well, why didn't you just say so? Brave little cowboy. Mission accomplished. We are even Steven, level Neville, and copacetic jobacetic. Well, gotta go. Mmm, <laughs> yummy. <laughs> really? the Big Dipper, and that's the Little Dipper, and hey, and that's the North Quacker Gummy, and that's <laughs> the Big Tickle! Gimme, gimme! <laughs> you know you can't have the laser pointer, Gummy. It's too dangerous. Remember what happened last time? I know lasers and uranium-238 don't mix. Could have happened to anyone. <sighs> wow, stereo. <sighs> I'm calling it a night. <sighs> Me too. Gummy? Nah, I'm just going to revel in the awe and mystery of the night sky. Nido! <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> Who's that? Mark the closing line. <laughs> Starlight, star bright, big fat star I see tonight. I wish I may, I wish I might, have all my wishes I wish tonight. Okay, I wasn't expecting this, but it is one of my secret wishes. Told you not to point lasers in people's eyes? Alan! Sorry, buddy, I didn't know it was you! I was just flying by on my way to a big barbecue on Nova Scootum when I thought I'd see if my old pal Gummy wanted to take a quick trip into outer space. Bambus, do I? Oh, yeah, I do! Then strap in and let's get this ship on the road! Where do you want to go first? Mars, I want to see the motion. <laughs> Hey, Alan, can I try driving? 
Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please, oh, please, oh, please. Well, I can't possibly see what could go wrong. Can you? Now, Gummy, remember, take it nice and... Really? Cool. What did this button do? Yeah! Two moons in the corner pocket. Uh, Seacom 5, this is Mars Rover Control to NASA. I believe the Mars Rover has found something that might change science forever. I think. I mean, I believe. I, I think that's a... Uh, never mind, NASA. We're good. Just a glitch. Over. Looky! Looky! Looky what I can do! Uh, 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 Gummy, perhaps I should... Hey! You ever play marbles on your planet? What are... marbles? Waka uh, waka woo! Uh, 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 uh,
Maybe I'm not feeding it enough. It doesn't fly because despite all our good advice, you never listen to us and just build whatever you want. Which doesn't work. You said it needed a tail. And if one tail is good, four should be, um, three times better, right? And you didn't pay attention to my suggestion for making the struts out of wood. Uh, uh, uh. But steel pipe is stronger. And the mouse, dear. Why does the kite need a mechanical mouse? What? Kites don't get hungry? It's all wrong! Why don't you listen? Harry's right, you know. Mm, it'll never work. Eh, whatever. It just needs a higher place to launch from. I'll show you. Tisk tisk tisk. This doesn't end well, does it? No, Carla dear. Not with our gummy. <laughs> Harry, can I use some of your gadgety sciencey stuff to fix up my kite? It still won't fly. Um, the last time you used my stuff, you melted one of my walls. Yeah, but the other three were just fine. Well, two of them at least. No, oh, okay, buddy. They're only walls. Knock them dead. I mean, have fun. Waka waka! Hooray! Just put things back where you found them. Harry, you're a trusting soul. Foolish, but trusting. Hi, 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 as a kite, 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 here I go, 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 taking off up in the sky. When the wind goes up in the sky, there's a magic kite rising up so high. If you want to be the biggest one, you've got to hold the line. Super fast with monster wings I eat you all up Prepare for the big Super fast with monster wings I eat you all up again. Look! Told you my way would work! We should have known. Woo-hoo! Woo-hoo! Oh, oh, guys! I can see my house from here! Not so woo-hoo. Try to aim, Gummy! I knitted you a soft, comfy pillow, dear! Hey, best I could do. Whoa! We got you! You're gonna be fine! Oh, we got you! This way! Whoa! <laughs> Thanks for breaking my fall, Mr. Kronk! You see how great my kite is flying? The one I made without listening to any of you? <laughs> Well, your kite is eating our kites. The electricity.
electricity must have brought it to life. Why does that always happen to us? And now it's gonna eat us! Run! <laughs> we warned you, Gummy! Yeah, we told you so! It was bound to happen. <laughs> It's like he thinks about the worst that can happen and then does it. You're right. I created it, so I'll have to stop it. Just one thing. Can you guys tell me how we stop it? There's only one way. Gummy o kite o. You against the kite. One on one. Winner takes all. The last man standing. No prisoners. To the death. Let no stone be. I think he's got the idea. I believe what Kala is so bloodthirstily trying to say is that you and the kite must duel. <laughs> yeah, right, guys. I can't fly. When we're done with you, you will... <laughs> Whoa! That tickles, Granny Peters! This is how you make a kite. If you'd just listen to us in the first place, if you please, Kala. My pleasure, Granny Peters. Look, I appreciate your help, but there's no way this is going to... Whoa! Oh, oh, guys! I can see my house from here! Gummy! Incoming! was really fun. on me while I slept. <laughs> In indelible ink! You painted a happy face on my speed bag. My kitchen is a disaster. And look what you did to my commemorative snow globe collection. How do you know it was me? I was asleep, honest. The drool's still wet on my pillow, see? We have proof. <laughs> I do take a good selfie, but I don't remember doing any of that. Did I do that too? Hmm, the gummy in the picture does have a goatee. And a very debonair, if evil looking goatee at that, I might add. There can be only one conclusion. <laughs> gummy has a doppelgummy. A who's it, Watsy? An identical but opposite version of yourself. As if having one of them wasn't enough. Come on, guys. We gotta capture this counterfeit gummy. Not only 
is this a better mousetrap? But it's baited with Gummy's favorite pizza, pepperoni and marshmallows. We should catch that doppel gummy no problem. No! What? 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 Harry, if the doppel gummy is totally opposite of gummy, what makes you think he'll even like pizza? Well, because he. Wow, that's a good point. Maybe he likes the opposite of pizza. Tofu? <laughs> The doppelgummy really is the opposite of the real gummy. Our gummy doesn't have any wits at all. Uh, at least not fiendishly outwitting type wits. Hey! Mm. I resemble that remark. <laughs> I don't know, guys. That doppelgummy sure is tricky. He's like a ghost. No one can catch him. Where will he strike next? <laughs> I say, old chum, care for a spot of tea and conversation? <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, I was bored with being bad in the mirror world, where all they ever want to do is party. Party? That doesn't sound so bad to me. Well, it is to me. So I thought I'd come here to be bad, where it would be more fun. So you like to do bad things to people? My dear fellow, it will be doubly bad to have you helping me be bad to your own friends. Hmm. Would you like first swing at the piñatas? <laughs> That's not bad enough. I've got a better super duper baddest of bad idea. It's so bad. When you look up bad in the dictionary, you'll see my idea. <laughs> really? Do tell. Better. I'll show you. But first, close your eyes and cover them up with your hands, and I'll set it all up. No peeking. I want it to be a surprise. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. <laughs> you can look now. So, what's the great bad thing? Are you going to clog the toilet with toilet paper until the town explodes? <laughs> Party time! What? You tricked me! But how? I'm the smart one! <laughs> no! I didn't want to party! It's bad! For such a smart guy, he completely forgot that we are opposite. -y. How could I go bad? I'm the good one! And that's the last we should be seen of him. I swore off mirrors forever. Boy, I thought you were going to go along with him and be bad. Yeah, why didn't you go along with your double gummy? Was it that you just couldn't get yourself to be bad and turn on your friends? That bad was just against your good judgment and moral fiber. 
that if you were evil, you wouldn't be you anymore. The gummy we all know and love. Nah, beards are just so scratchy. If I had to wear a beard to be bad, then I just didn't want to. Ready for a big order? Huh. Our chef is always ready. Menu overload. Can't choose. Ah, you order for me. I'm too hungry to think. Oh, it's too much pressure. My head is going to explode. Ugh. Don't worry, guys. I've got this. We will have the full stack pancakes, half stack pancakes, cupcake sprinkle pancakes, Belgian dark chocolate pancakes, Belgian white chocolate pancakes, Belgian normal chocolate pancakes. Cocoa banana peanut butter pancakes and the double triple quadruple pancake surprise. Oh, and can we get extra surprise with that? <laughs> Why don't you just order everything? Please! Who orders fruit salad at a pancake restaurant? Oh, milkshakes! Don't forget the milkshakes! Did you forget the milkshakes? No, I ordered them ten minutes ago. Hmm. Anything else? Kala? Just step on it! I'm so hungry I could make a salad out of you all! Wanna split the damage? You got it. Hey, Kala, I forgot my wallet. Can you cover me? You got it. Oh my gosh. Uh, hey, Gummy, I need you to pay for me. I left my money back at the house. No problem. I've got this. <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> ah, there it is. Oh, guess I have on my Australian underpants today. No wallet after all. Hey, Harry, I need you to cover me and Kala. We don't have our... Wait a pancake. If you don't... And I don't... We can't pay our bill! Oh. That's not so good. And not until every patron in this restaurant is fed and happy will your debt be paid off. Have I made myself clear? Every patron? And just what is my job here? Dishes. You do dishes. People do that? I thought dishes did themselves. Don't worry, Mr. Kronk. I'll be the best chef who's ever chefed. Uh, I have no idea what I'm doing. Two stacks of Jack, OJ, mashed potato. Again. Two stacks of Jack, OJ, mashed potatoes. Again. Somebody help me! Master! Yeah. 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 Yeah.
we have here? I'll have the eggs. But bake the eggs instead of frying them, would you? And use only the part of the white that touches the yellow. Also, only toast by toast on one side of the bread. And I would like that with whole wheat. But if you don't have whole wheat, then it won't dry. Eggs cut into octagons with light syrup. <laughs> Have you got that, sweetie? You bet your honey pie. Hmm. I know. If these people aren't dead soon. Easy, Pancake. Easy! Everyone hit the deck! It's gonna blow! Pancake! <laughs> um, are you okay, Mr. Kronk? I. 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 I've never tasted anything better, Gummy. It's Pancake Paradise. Well, this is what just the most delicious. Beautiful. My work here is done, but next time, we order the fruit salad. <laughs> Helping me tend my ailing geraniums, dearie. Between the bugs and the weeds, I'm dealing with some droopy blooms. Happy to help, Granny. I may not have a green thumb, but I've got some awesome claws. <laughs> Eat foot, you petal eating pest. Ugh. Watching Kala and Granny work so hard is exhausting. <sighs> I prefer to watch the clouds. Much more restful. Ooh, uh, that one looks like a pirate ship. <laughs> that one looks like a jackalope. That one looks like a UFO. <laughs> oh, wait. It really was a UFO. Please don't probe me. Please don't probe me. Please don't probe me. Look at that cute little cloud. <laughs> it's so dinky. I think it's doing an imitation of a shrimp. <laughs> I think you may have insulted it. Oh, come on, Harry. It was just a joke. I'm sure the itsy bitsy teeny weeny little guy doesn't take it personally. Ixnay on the idle yay. Sure, Harry. All I'm saying is that a cloud that small probably can't do very much. You know, cloud wise. <sighs> Watching Granny and Kala work has worn me out. I'm gonna take advantage of this yummy sunlight and... Uh-oh. <laughs> dabba get out of here, you pesky pup. I don't think he's going anywhere, Gummy. You've got this little guy storming mad. What the hell? Ow! Is everyone all right, my little darlings? 
Oh, yeah. I'm fine. <laughs> Yikes! Maybe not so fine. I think it's time we got a handle on this cloud. Because I just saved your skin using this brake handle? Really? Nothing? <sighs> Nobody gets me. Fine. Let's just catch this cantankerous cloud. <laughs> What are we gonna do about this cloud? We can't keep it on ice forever. That thing's like the... the... the Cloudinator! It's never gonna stop coming after Gummy. It's what it does. It's all it does! Seems to me you cast some major shade on that cloud and you need to apologize, Gummy. How can I apologize if I didn't do anything wrong? All I did was call a little cloud little. What's wrong with that? Would Kala care if I referred to her as a single-minded killing machine who could barely keep her dangerous impulses in check? Would Harry be insulted if I called him a multicolored bundle of neuroses who's afraid of his own shadow? No! Yes! You and that cloud are both being pig-headedly stubborn, Gummy. You need to take a time out and settle your differences. And you'd better settle it, Mon, soon. Because of seasonal prevailing winds in Southeast Asia, blowing from the Southwest between May and September and bringing rain? Monsoon? What? Nothing? Again? <sighs> like I said, nobody gets me. Oh, I got it, dearie. It just wasn't funny. So, what do you say? Are you up for a little heart to heart? Now, this is a safe place. I want each of you to express your feelings. Cloud, how did you feel when Gummy said you were tiny and ineffectual? And Gummy, what do you think, knowing that you made the cloud feel bad? I can actually understand how the cloud feels. That's wonderful. <laughs> wow, empathy. Good for you, Gummy. I mean, if I were a little cloud surrounded by bigger and better clouds, I'd feel bad too. It's gotta be a drag knowing that you're the tiniest guy in the sky, overshadowed by his betters, not big enough to make a difference. If I were him, I'd probably chase people around shooting lightning bolts in their butts too. Gummy. What? Ow! Aquafatwa, lousy cloud! Oh, great. Here we go again. You point that. Th you boys stop this foolishness right now! How do you know the cloud's a boy? Well, look, all my geraniums needed was a little rain. Emphasis on little gummy. Okay, okay. I guess, you know, that cloud really is good at something. Maybe I was a little rough on the floating wet blanket. <laughs> that one looks like a malarkey. That cloud looks like a bum fuzzle. <laughs> wow, look at that one. It's huge. But size isn't everything.
Welcome to the Gummy Bear Show. Wanna play hide and don't speak? Wanna play hide and don't speak? Wanna play? Please stop knocking on my face, Gummy. Hmm, Harry, something's different about you today. Beehive, beehive! Looks good on you. Matches your eyes. So what you want to do today? I built weed ice cream to explode. Or maybe play a game of hide and don't speak? Sorry, Gummy, but as you can see, I can't play. I'm babysitting Granny's bees. Until she gets back from visiting her identical twin sister, Ranny. Nothing says you can't babysit and have fun. I say we play hide and don't speak right here in your place. And you can even be the hide -y. I'll count to a gazillion while you hide. One, two, seventeen, the number that comes after seventeen. Ah, uh, uh, uh. And gazillion! Ready or not, here I come! Uh, 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 uh. I'm just that kind of guy. You're just the kind of guy who got me into this mess. And I'm going to get you out. I have an idea. Up, we can barely stand up. Does that mean we give up? Ugh. I think so. All Granny can do is yell at me. The bees can do a lot worse. No! When the going gets tough, the tough get new shoes. And then come up with the best idea ever. What are the two things bees can't resist most? Cheese and crackers? Peanut butter and jelly? Pass and pepper? No! Although you're making me hungry. Flowers and honey! Flowers and honey? It's so simple. I don't know why we didn't think of it before. It's as plain as the nose on your face. And that's a pretty plain nose. I dress up like a tempting flower and attract the bees towards you. You will have honey smeared all over your noggin. The bees won't be able to resist it and will come back home to roost on your head. Ah, hi, bees. I'm 
hiding from those nasty, aggressive, brainless bees. Oh, Papa! How long it took me to clean up after myself? Um, Harry, less talking, more honeying. Oh, right. Anyone for a little honey? Told you it'd be a piece of buzzing cake. Gummy. 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 Don't worry, Harry. I'll figure out a way to get you down. We'll be back uh, any second. Oh, Harry, I'm back. Do you have my beehive in there? I feel so naked without it. Ah! Oh, was it something I said? soft. Scary from his head down to his tush. 
no, no. I don't want hair. No hair. Not a nil. None. Must cut hair. Oh! There. No more hair for anyone else. Hey, Harry. The weirdest thing just happened. A tube of goop came flying out of the sky and hit me in the head, and now I feel funny. Go figure. <laughs> Welcome to the club. You've been hairized. I, I, I've always tried to grow my hair longer, but it only stays fur length. Why, I'm breathtaking. Not as breathtaking as me. Uh -uh. I may not like it, but it's obvious that I have the best hair. Do not. Do too. Do not. I do too. Do not, do not, do not. Two. Do. Oh, I'm getting confused. Pax! <laughs> There's only one way to solve this once and for all. We need a hair off. I remember when I used to work the runway something fierce. I put the super in supermodel. <laughs> yeah. hmm. Work it, Carla! Work it! Back to go! Yeah, I'm all that. Blue steel, baby. Blue steel. Um, don't hate me because I'm beautiful. Manuto? Here! Nodding! Can't stop it! Out of control! It's out of control! I always knew I'd go in a bad way, but swallowed by my own hair! Who would have thunk? Don't worry! I'll save you! Fire in the hair! Okay, that's not good. Let me hit it again. Incoming! Hmm. According to my calculations, if it keeps growing at this rate, it will engulf the whole town by sunset, the continent in a week, and the world in a month. Oh, dearie. Look, I'm sorry, but I'm out of here. <laughs> Will nothing stop this horrible hair? <laughs> I've always wanted to say something like that. Kronk! Uh, did you say Kronk, Harry? Or Honk? Because uh, I'm not sure a horn's going to help us here. No, Kronk! Mr. Kronk! Earlier, I scared him and all his hair fell out. Say that too. Oh, 
then everyone will be happy. <laughs> action! Huh, but what action? Maybe I need a story. Don't think I have one in this drawer. <laughs> Who needs a story? I know what I like. Adventure! Oh. Oh. Rush is too scary. And fattening. <laughs> To eat or not to eat? That is the question! No suspense in that one. I know! Make way for the king of the living room! Not fun enough. My movie has to be about the greatest thing in the world if it's gonna make everyone happy. Now, what could that be? I know! It's me! My life story has it all. Yelling, chewing gum, TV, adventure, greenness, underpants, and me! But who could possibly play me in a movie? Not you, you're too handsome. He's right, you know. Welcome to Gummy Studios' Wanna Be a Movie Star Talent Search. I'm the famous director, Gummy Spielbear. On with the auditions! <laughs> Lose the glasses! I like that look. Squinty-eyed and confused. Now let's see what you do in an action scene. Tsunami wave! <laughs> That's it! Don't hold back! Let the emotion gush out like toothpaste from a tube! No, no, no. Not at all like me. You make a so-so hairy, but a terrible gummy. What's going on in here? A spot of showbiz? I'm getting a definite smell of bad acting in here. Hey! Where am I gonna find a star? Ugh! Those lips, those eyes, that skin. Can it be? A star is born? Gummy, that's a potato. Not a star, but a starchy tuber. It's a tuber now, but when I'm through with it, it'll be a star! <laughs> there, bet you can't even tell us apart. We're practically twins. On with the show! <laughs> so, in this scene, a fierce cannibal tribe chases you to the cliff and then you jump. What's that? No, you won't really jump. We'll use a stunt potato. Ready? Gummy, where's the fierce cannibal tribe you mentioned? Ugh, thanks for reminding me. Okay, cannibals in place. Lights! Camera! Action! Ugh, look at him. Have you ever seen such raw vegetable passion? Get closer! No! Father away! Upside down! Lift the loop! Now jump! Jump for your potato life! What are you waiting for? Is this about the money? We'll talk about that later! Jump! Ugh. Cut! Print! Beautiful! You were brilliant! You'll be even better in the sequel! I can see it now! Your name up there in lights! Bigger than carrots and broccoli! Now for the big ending finale, the one sure way to make everyone happy. The volcano explosion. What do you think, guys? Charming idea. Great way to make everyone happy, Gummy. Uh, what Carla said. Not you guys. I was asking the potatoes entourage. But they're just fruits and vegetables. Well, what kind of entourage do you think a potato would have? <laughs> you just don't understand celebrities. Hey, guys, ready for the VIP tour? Pretty cool, huh? By the way, Gummy, I filled it with soap suds, but it won't look red like lava. It has to look red. Guys, want to be in my movie? You do? Great! There, red! What's this? Instructions? 
eat those. I think you're only supposed to put in one packet, Gummy. It's not like something could go wrong if I put in all three. Oh, no! Where's my star? This is a volcano, and right before it goes off, you give it a big old gummy smile, okay? Volcano explosion, take one! And... Action! Ah! <laughs> Got you, Granny! Oh, uh, thank you! What a soupy red mess this is! Hang on, I'm going after Harry! <laughs> Ugh. First time I've ever encountered a sud tsunami. Where's Gummy? No, it can't be. My movie, my life, my potato. It's all my fault. My methods were unsound. I regret the harm I did to vegetables everywhere. <laughs> well, Gummy, at least this should keep your place clean for a while. The potato threw itself into the volcano to rescue us. It's a cinema miracle! I think the more likely explanation is that the... Who wants facts? Film the legend! We need more stories about heroic vegetables! <gasps> That'll be my new film! A heroic potato to inspire potatoes everywhere! Oh dear! I get the impression that Gummy didn't learn a thing from this near disaster! Wouldn't be the first time! <laughs> Two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Here I come, ready or not. <sighs> Gummy, I found you again. Nini, try again, Harry. This is too easy, Gummy. You have to really hide. I do really hide. Uh, Gummy, you never listen. Wait, what? I wasn't listening. Ah, <sighs> uh, come on. How about I count, you hide? Ha <laughs> ha! Found you! Ow! How'd you do that? Toenail polish! Looky, looky! Maybe he wants to play too! Impossible, my dear Gummy. That is a statue. Nuh-uh. It's a copper guy who sits very, very still. See? Solid. And there was a bird on its head. Wonga! His foot went to sleep and it spread. And who doesn't like animals? What he do? How's the wife and kids? Gummy, he's metal! Nuh-uh. He's reading. I'll show you. Fred, Fred, may I call you Fred? If you were truly reading, please ignore the following. The goo! See? Seriously? That is defying the laws of physics and logic. Huh. I shall prove to you Fred is as real as you or me. Well, me at least. Uh. Howdy, Mr. Kronk. Want to meet Fred? Get that hunk of junk off my clean carpet. Hunk of forced. Fred hates insults. Fred can't hear them because he's a statue. See? Two against one. He can't hear because he's slightly deaf. That's all. Deaf? Handicaps are not a crime, Mr. Crunk. Ask my ingrown toenail. <laughs> Is he fake? Is he real? He could be made of steel. He looks like just a statue, pretends like he can feel. I whisper in his ear, he's acting kind of shy. Even when I tickle him, he never cracks a smile. 
I try to make him laugh, he doesn't say a thing He doesn't even move his lips when I try to make him sing Crack a smile, my friend, don't be shy, my friend Let me cheer you up, crack a smile You seem kind of tense, can't we just be friends? We could have some fun, crack a smile Crack a smile, my friend, don't be shy, my friend Let me cheer you up, crack a smile Don't be shy, my friend. Let me cheer you up. Crack a smile. My pristine living space. And stay out. Papoosie, we go elsewhere. All right, little atoms. Don't go nuclear while I'm gone. I just cleaned up in here. Gracious! What's going on in here? Duh. Gummy is trying to prove that this statue is a real person by teaching him to play checkers. <sighs> and I happen to have a checkerboard. Is that it? Yep. Gummy, sweetie pie, listen carefully. Your plan is noble, but totally wrong. So is yodeling. <sighs> yodel, 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 yodel. And yet the Swiss still do it. If that's wrong, I don't want to be right. <sighs> Enough. Could you please take your argument to another part of the building? Or perhaps another city? Sure, but Fred only has one move left, and he can't decide what to do. Okay, how about this? Want to play again? Paula, <laughs> will you please settle an argument? Yes, good idea. Tell this cotton-headed gherkin that Fred here is not human. Gummy, you're a relatively not-too-stupid guy. Thanks. I want you to please examine Fred for me as I do this. <laughs> Any conclusions? Ugh. Listen carefully. Fred is a cold, dull, solid metal statue. No brains, no feelings, no soul. Kaput. Then why is he so hungry, huh? Answer me that. It's good, isn't it, Fred? This also comes in grape and snowsberry. He's lost his tiny mind. Did you buy this online? Harry, we need to convince Gummy that his pal is a useless inanimate object. But, Kala, that's what I've been trying to do all day. Nothing I've said has slipped one ounce of logic into his brain. Okay, time for plan B. If you can't beat him, join him. Yep, that's a real guy, all right. You win, Gummy. 100 points for your team. Fred is a real person. See? I told you. Now, was that so hard? My work here is done. See you around, Fred. I've got some double fudge brownie fumes to sniff. Shabba do! Wow, it worked? All we had to do was agree with him? See you around, Fred! <laughs> well, that's that. Let's get on with our lives. <sighs> wow! I never thought I was gonna get out of there. This being a statue is really for the birds. Choo choo! Go away!
I know. What if we play chess? Lame. Wash and fold our laundry? Lame. Taste test gluten-free crackers? Lame. Throw a party? Lame. Hey, I know. Let's throw a party. Send an invite to everyone in town, Harry. Bam, boozy. This party is going to be off the hook. But Gummy, don't we need party supplies to throw a party? Party supplies? I've got a whole closet full of them. <laughs> Right. I lost them all in the accidental firecracker explosion of last Tuesday. Never forget. There's only one thing to do. This would be great for party snacks. Hey! Gummy, what are you doing here? Granny Peter, I'm throwing a party and I need some party supplies. Mine were... Uh... Destroyed in the accidental firecracker explosion of last Tuesday. So you heard about that? <laughs> it was hard not to. It blew out my hearing aid. I'd buy some new party stuff, but I'm broke. Skinned, without money, not a zilch. If I had pockets, they'd be empty. <laughs> oh, pish posh. I have a whole host of party supplies in my apartment. You're welcome to them. I am? Of course. But you'll have to pick them up yourself. I'm heading into town for a secret scientist coven... Uh, I mean, a knitting convention. Yes, that's it. Wow, thanks, Granny. Everything's coming up gummy. Let's see. Party supplies. Party supplies. No. No. Nope. Ooh, there they are. What that then? <gasps> Granny has a laser light show! Gimme, gimme, gimme! Hmm, the responsible thing to do would be to take multiple trips. Nah. <laughs> Ow! I've always wanted one of these. What's this do? Wait a minute. That's no laser light show. It's a gravity machine. Boy, Granny really should sue the party supply store she got this from. She could have been hurt if she ever turned it on. Hey, Gummy. I got some RSVPs and... Whoa! Oh! What's going on? We've got a gravity machine. I'm telling you, Harry, I'm going to have the best party ever. We're going to dance on the ceiling. Wow. A gravity machine? Let me see. <laughs> that was Bagoo awesome. But safety first. Don't want someone to switch this on accidentally and hurt themselves. Watch your step. <laughs> Let's get this party started. <laughs> What's going on? We keep on dancing to my favorite song. How did this happen? I can't explain. It must be magic. It is so much fun. Upside down, dancing on the ceiling, round and round. It is so much fun. Upside down, it's the greatest feeling. Shake and bounce, dancing on. Gummy. Or how about a river dance? Is that still a thing? Gummy. Oh, I know. Let's break dance. Finally, not having bones will come in handy for something. Gummy. What? The gravity machine is. Gummy, 
at your party, I hear. Oh, no. If Granny finds out I broke her gravity machine, she'll kill me. Nobody move. Hello? Come here. Hmm. I'll just look side to side for any sign of them. I can't imagine needing to look in any other direction. Like up. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, where is everyone? Oh, well, I guess I'll leave. You, Chaka! She didn't catch us, and all thanks to this awesome machine. Uh oh. What's going on here? <gasps> Was this a surprise party? Uh, yeah, that's it. It's a surprise party. So... Surprise! surprise! Oh, how delightful. Well, you certainly surprised me, Gummy. Now, let's boogie! <laughs> 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 